Hey, all you duelers and jewelers out there, it's Mad Cat Mystic V, and today I'm going to talk about crappy locals and how you can build your own from the ground up. Hey guys, welcome back. The whole premise of this video is kind of a personal bit that I feel like I want to share with the world, and this kind of goes as far as saying... If you guys have a locals or a card shop in your area that doesn't support Yu-Gi-Oh, who often will, in many ways, treat your previously existing players like garbage, who don't want to get sanctioned, who feel like Yu-Gi-Oh is a waste of time, but you really have that urge, you want to be able to go to a local area, don't have to drive 20 miles out to your nearest area, uh, nearest shop just to play in an o OTS or further. Here's some, here's some ideas for you guys to go over with your friends and try and find that way to kind of build a community of, for Yu-Gi-Oh! from the ground up. And it's not very difficult, it doesn't really cost money, um, but let's get into it. So, kind of like the first step, really, is kind of establishing a place you guys can play. And, um, and I'm not talking about opening up your own store. That costs money, a lot of money. I'm talking about getting a community together out of people in your area who are all of like-minded Yu-Gi-Oh, in essence, who wanted to go play together. So what I mean is really get folks together to start having your own events, meetups. And the, the, the location part is sometimes the more important bit. I know that some people are often uh, you know, a little distraught or pulled back by the idea of having locals or having their friends all meet up to play Yu-Gi-Oh at a random fast food joint because they have tables there. And honestly, what you should do is if you ever have uh, a situation where you really need to find a spot, you know, community centers are not a bad idea for places. Uh, your community college libraries exist as well. Being able to possibly start up events and talk to uh, people at those areas for uh, permission. It's always important, but you always got to find a place first. This spot where everyone can set their cards out, meet and greet, and play is very important. You don't have to worry about starting tournaments yet. You just need to find a place that you can really call your own. And so, like, having a place you can call your own, a place you feel comfortable with being yourself is the most vital and important bit in building in building this sort of community. And so, next up, you got to realize that uh, one of the big things as well is uh, kind of getting an outreach or keeping a community connected requires a good, effective social media. And so, like, one of the best things you can do, Facebook, right there, boom, you've got it. With Facebook groups, you are able to basically connect this entire network of people you want to work with together through simply telling them when you're meeting up, having people ask questions about scheduling when you guys are wanting to get together. It's really just a matter of getting everyone on the list. And so there's a big deal when it comes to that. So something as simple as saying, you know, blah, 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 we're meeting at the community center at um, four o'clock. Uh, and, 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 you know, we'll meet everyone there, How, hope everyone shows up, and some people can show up, some people can't. As time goes on, time progresses, you can kind of start to gather everyone's scheduling, and you grow from there. One of the best things about having sort of a growth of community uh, that's aside from a card shop is that you're not limited to their time constraints. And the fact is, having a great locals that has good prize support, that has a good area of, of respect for Yu-Gi-Oh!, that has singles, uh, that's a great thing to have. But the thing is, not all of us are really lucky enough to be able to have that in an environment. Either due to bad locals, uh, bad location for starting one up, etc. There's a lot of instances where people live in rural areas and they have no ability to get to a card shop. So, you know, you can't blame it on anyone else. Sometimes it's just difficult to really establish. And so, take matters into your own hands. What I would say is one of the second most important things, really, besides the well, third most important thing that's kind of relevant to, you know, not only having an area to play and the ability to network with people, is just having a community that's willing to work together to kind of grow the game. Yu-Gi-Oh! has a lot of problems when it comes to, uh, like, differences in uh, play styles and conflicts with those because there's a lot of people who play different types of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! We I did a video about that previously and so as you want to develop that kind of thing 
in terms of getting a community together that wants to play, sometimes you're going to have guys that are playing different styles, and honestly, in the end, you just got to let everyone be able to play the way they want to. If, if folks are being, you know, a little too try-hard in your opinion, or if they're being a little too casual, the thing is, if you're building a community, you got to be open to all aspects of this game, even the crappy ways, even Duel Links. <laughs> And uh, But that being said, guys, this was just something that was on my mind for a while. Some stuff that you guys can do in case you guys don't have locals in your area or your lo locals is just swarmed with other card games or is just not very effective at, at keeping you guys interested or is way overpriced. And with that, I want to hear your guys' stories too. Are you guys out there, like other people I know, who aren't able to get those really good locals going, who have to drive 50 miles north or south to their nearest OTS to be able to play a sneak peek, because I know people like that. I'm one of them. <laughs> but I want to know you guys' stories myself. I want to hear about it so I can learn more and kind of get a more effective range connection point with my community. And with that, I'll catch you guys later. This is Mystic V, and I'm signing off. Where are my sunglasses?